All right, Thanksgiving dinner, of course, around the corner, and it's time. This year, this time of year, firefighters, they do see more kitchen fires. Elise Weintraub Brown joins us today from the Palm Beach County Fire Rescue to share some cooking safety tips, of course, to keep you and your family safe. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank we appreciate you for it. Me. Of course. So let's start out with some video that you sent out and you're hoping to educate people about this. Yes. turkey frying so obviously it happens a lot during thanksgiving you're looking at infrared video right now the process so talk to us about how to do this safely so ways of doing it safely first and foremost is reading the manual reading the instructions so you can get informed on how to use it properly what you're seeing in this video right here is an overfilled turkey fryer there are uh, level lines for filling the oil so it's obviously overflowing right here because it was there was too much oil and what happens is the, the oil is heated over 300 degrees so at the at the burner what's heating it is at 700 degrees but the oil spilling over is 200 to 300 degrees so someone mm. standing in the area is going to get severely burned and does it does it obviously needs to be thawed correct because you should yes. not do this with a frozen yes turkey. because yeah. water oil don't mix the turkey needs to be thawed completely and dried thoroughly towel dried would be the best before you know trying to put it into a superheated oil and sure. i was asking you we see these videos a lot but people still do this in, in an unsafe manner they do i mean there's a lot of safety precautions that go along with it. The manufacturers are, are, are very much into spelling out all the tips and, and the ways that these fires should be utilized safely, all the way from, you know, um, checking the propane tank, making sure there's no leaks, making sure there's nothing clogging the openings to the hose lines and, and how to even light them properly. Absolutely. Okay. Well, look, if you're not a big fry person, we can still have the kitchen fires. You know, you're in there cooking your meal. Talk to us about some common things you see in the kitchen. So in the kitchen, um, a lot of people may grab the fire extinguisher, you know, first thing, that's just school of thought, right. or even putting, oil, you know, water on oil, and, and those are both no-goes, truly. The yes. extinguisher can push, make it worse, oil and water don't mix. So truly everybody typically has a lid nearby, you know, when they're cooking or they should, if not a, a flat cookie sheet or even a, a pizza pizza um, pan. And if the pan catches fire, just sliding the lid over it to suffocate it would put the fire out and then turning okay. the heat off. And I want you to do that again because we didn't see it. So obviously you yes. didn't pick it off, but put it back on to suffocate it. So you just would slide it over, Okay. cover it, and turn the heat off and let it cool before handling. And it's the same thing with an oven, toaster oven, or microwave, the same concept with suffocating. Yes. If something does flare up, keep that door closed, turn the power off, let it cool. Call 911, close doors on the way out, let yeah. the firefighters come in and check for safety. All right, let's leave our viewers with three different safety tips. Do they involve these gloves at all or no? So gloves, oven mitts, hand protection all the time oh, when we're cooking. These are, are flame resistant, fire resistant, heat resistant for those turkey fires because the, the oil yeah. is a lot hotter. Mm -hmm. But three main tips is stay in the home, stay in the kitchen for slow, for fast cooking, slow cooking, stay in the home, keep the kids and pets out and use timers and reminders so we don't forget what we're doing and, and stay focused, not distracted. All right, because we want to celebrate safely. Yes. Thank you so much for stopping by. Always good reminders yeah. for people as they're cooking. So if you want to hear this again, if you want to see that video again, right now we have it on on our website just type in kitchen safety get everything you need to know Vanessa thanks Stephen